so. What do you think? I couldn't have done it better myself. <laughs> Wait till Damien sees you. His beautiful bride. Are you still in her pyjamas? I'll get changed in a bit. Have you even had your protein bar yet? Can you stop hassling me? Calm down, bridezilla. Sorry, I'm just nervous. Well, of course you are. It's a big day. <laughs> I'm going to plug these in for you in your bedroom. Give your mom some peace. I heard you up during the night. I just want things to go smoothly, that's all. We've been over stuff a hundred times, why wouldn't it? Because it's a wedding. Things go wrong. Well, if your dress gets caught in your knickers, I'll let you know. Come up. You and Damien, it's been rough. But you got here, so get your big fat wedding on and stop worrying. Hi. Hi. Good to see you. Oh, you look gorgeous. Happy wedding day. How are you feeling? She's stressed. I'm fine. I was just at the park. It looks great. Oh, thanks for the flowers. Oh, they're not from me. They were outside the door. Oh, is there a card? Best wishes for today from Will. Just put them over there. It was nice of him. Yeah. Today really is a new start for you. Where are you going? I just need to get some fresh air. Now you're already behind. Thank you, love. She's been wound up all morning. Any reason why? Nerves, or so she says. I have to go into Dolores now. She's shown me how to do my hair. <laughs> There you are. <laughs> ah, you're going to drive him crazy today, Bella. Uh, this is from Jimmy and Suzanne, all the gang in Australia. Oh. Uh, Ray and Damien sent us over from one happy couple to another. Ah. Where's groom number two? Did you sleep it in? He's refusing to get dressed. Correction. Uh, I'm just not wearing what he wants me to wear. Uh, tell him that whatever in that box, right, he's not putting it on because I don't want anybody falling around the place laughing on my wedding day. And I won't have God on the guest list. Lads, you're not keeping this up, are you? In the words of the great Janis Joplin, don't compromise yourself. You're all you've got. I saw her at Woodstock. Inspirational. He's using all this hippie stuff just to annoy me. <sighs> You want to trust me up in a suit to make me respectable with his priest and his blessing? I could bust in a whole seminary and they wouldn't make you look respectable. Uh, enough. You're getting married today. We're going to have to sort this out. Drop the priest. You show me what's inside that box and I'll consider it. Oh, censor me. <laughs> Never. Then the priest stays. In that case, I think I'll break into this bottle. So, how was it? <clears throat> it's a piece of cake. I think I might have got you a new sponsor for the fundraising. Got chatting to this fellow on the doorstep. And you top of the class. You gave me your number. He will call. I could do with some ongoing help with the fundraising. Oh, no, I, no, no. I kept my part of the deal. We're done. I can't tempt you. I'll make sure the bride and groom get a gold plate of blessing this afternoon. The groom and groom. Did you not speak to Bella? I texted you his number. That's something you should have told me yourself. Why? Because the church have a problem with it? As in, they could kick me out. Well, I won't snitch if that's what you're afraid of. Who said I was afraid? Love should be celebrated in my book. So you will do it? Only because it's a small body. And I keep my word. Oh, well. So do I. Right. I'll run you through the fundraising now, so... Come on. Ah. From Saoirse. 
That's cute. She'll be tuning in on Skype today. No. Uh, she's in crash. Quiva's working. She couldn't take an hour off so Saoirse can watch the wedding. It's fine. I can show her the photos afterwards. You have the rings, right? Oh, oh done. Right. I'm sorry, I need to see you to talk. Can we do that? What's wrong? Everything. OK, you're scared of me now, love. Today we were going to put everything behind us and be happy, finally, but it's all slipping away. What are you talking about? Me, I've ruined it. I've ruined everything. You're not making any sense. Uh, something happened. Mairead. Ah, uh, it's Wayne. Sorry. Couldn't wait till it was official. Just tell him I'll call him back. He'll be really disappointed. He's yeah, thinking I'll I'm getting married in the I'll morning. I'll call him back. Hey, uh... What's wrong? I can't help feeling that I've started all this trouble by getting ill again. Right, that is rubbish. You're perfect. All right, and it's me who's punching above his weight today. I should go. I'm not even dressed. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Cute your jammies in the photos. You must think I'm crazy. It's just wedding nerves. Delude. Sorry. Why don't you say something? Put on a pair of trousers, at least. Do you hear a buzzing noise? You, you know what I find works great when me and Sharon hit a wall? An apology. You looking at me? Well, I'm sure you didn't mean to hurt Cass's feelings. Well, what about my feelings, right? You know, I want my, my family in Australia and Spain to be proud on Skype. One day? Is that too much to ask? Ah, you, you, you. That's all I'm hearing. I think I might take up your suggestion and call off the wedding. What? He doesn't mean that. That's not what I said. If there's no equality, it's pointless. Solemn Nigel. Wants to know if we're on track. What am I going to say? Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. OK, OK. Have it your way. We dropped the priest. Now you're happy. <sighs> Sense prevails. Yeah. But that thing stays in the box, all right? No priest, no silly outfit. Equality. Fine. And it's not silly. It was given to me a long time ago and means a lot to me. Who gave it to you, Cass? Nice of you to show respect for my past, Anto. But you're not the one who should be asking. You know what Yes, what is I'll ever be? And you'll never tell you not to upstage the bride? See? That's how it's done. So, Damien, are you ready to wake up next to the same woman for the rest of your life? Full of romance, Jane. <laughs> I suppose it's good to get it all out of your system beforehand. All those wild oats. So long as it's not in your own doorstep. What do you think, Ian? Can I grab you for a second? What's she on? Ignore her. I do. Relax. She'll be here. Did uh, Marie say anything to you? About what? No, just, she called round this morning. Something was off. I mean, you two get on. I thought she might have mentioned something. She's had a lot on her mind this week. You know, give her a chance. The main thing is the wedding is going ahead. Huh? Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Tommy. You okay? You seem on edge. I'm your friend if I can do anything. Just keep Jane away from me today, yeah? <sighs> Smile!
You look beautiful. Thank you. Keep them waiting. Start as you mean to go on. <laughs> Before we begin. Let's. things for kicks. And you turned out just like your dear old dad, only with more petrol in the tank. Later, okay? This thing we used to. She made some crack earlier. She's lost it. What's uh, that all about? I attempted to hit rounds since they got here. Yeah, I Tommy messed up again. What? Well, maybe she found out. Look, who cares? Let's just... Concentrate and get married. Good morning and a very big welcome as we join Damien and Maraid on their special day. Oh, uh, uh, we're cancelling the blessing. Oh, I'm sorry. It, it was Bella who wanted it. Me and God broke up a long time ago. Fair enough. Hang on a minute. We had a deal. I'm after delivering around a hundred of those leaflets. Think of all the exercise you got. You sleep like a baby tonight. I'll be in touch. And I've said himself and Bella, they've been scrapping all morning. I'm standing my ground. Do you want a word of advice? I've already had an earful from Agony Aunt Anto. You've been a rambler all your life, answering to nobody but yourself. Happy days. We're getting hitched is going to take an adjustment. Sucking up insults, you mean? Well, you want to find a better way of working things out. Otherwise, this marriage, it's going to be a rocky one. Maraid, we've already been through the good times and the bad. You know my deepest secrets. And I know yours. But today is a new start. And I promise to be faithful and loving and always by your side. You have made me the happiest man alive. <laughs> Right. Damien, you've taught me that together we can get through anything. What are you doing? I promise to be faithful. Sorry, I promise to be faithful. Sit down. Loving. Get out of my way. Don't do it. I'll tell him myself. What's going on? <laughs> can we go somewhere? Just the two of us now, please. Mum. Right. Don't. We should have told him about us. I can't get married like this. What the hell is going on? Us? Oh, you, you, you're telling me you and him? Some sort of sick joke, right? No. No, but I mean, you, you haven't been feeling well. The stress of everything, even even this morning, you were. Is he right? It was once. I don't know what I was thinking. You slept with her. Why don't we take five? You and him. You for real? I never wanted you to find out like this. I thought Jay knew. I thought she was going to tell you. No, I had Saoirse on FaceTime on the phone to watch the wedding. What? I set it up with Quiva as a surprise. So, no, I didn't know you were hurling yourself on my boyfriend. All right, can we all just take it easy? You are scum. Damien. All this time, you pretend to have my back? I did have your back. No, Tommy, you were just waiting for your chance. It wasn't like... You know, you shut him out or I would swear I'd shut him for you. Don't. He's not worth it. Yeah. Yeah, right, Laura. Neither of them are. Damien. Now just get away from me, all right? Well, you should go after him. She's right. Don't leave like this. Jane.
Guests get a glass of Prosecco on arrival. Then we serve the food at seven. Fine, whatever. Looks like a fun day. It was supposed to be. The priest, I can understand. They bring me out in lumps, too. But falling out over an outfit. If it was an outfit, he'd have shown me. And this is something crazy. The box is right in there. Have a look. No, I wouldn't go behind his back. He won't be wearing it now. What difference does it make? I just wanted to hold on to some dignity. So it's about you. I mean, kids have been watching. Friends and neighbours, right? Cass has us in the papers already. You want respectability. The priest, the suits. What's wrong with that? I think you might be getting hitched to the wrong man. No, he's not the wrong man. He's my best friend. Then why aren't you celebrating? Not everyone is lucky enough to marry the one they want. So, have a party. Sad what people think. Except Cass. His opinion is the only one that shall count. You leave me alone. Not until we talk. Right, fine. You want to talk? Let's talk. Let's talk. Was it in hours? You and him? Huh? In the bed? Were you sleep with your back to me every night, was it? Damien. You know, I understand that you, you know, you for being angry over what I did, but to get even with me like this. I wasn't. With Tommy Dillon, of all people. Search his granddad. I mean, you must really hate me, Mirai. Well, maybe it wasn't about you. Have you ever thought of that? Or Tommy, it was about me. And all those months thinking that I was a freak who could never have sex again, uh, and you taking it as a pass to cheat. No, 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 we'll stick to you. I wanted to prove something. Tommy, any man, I didn't care, and I slept with him to see if I still could, and I found out I can. That's great to know that Tommy fixed you. No, not Tommy. Me. Did you make him floss beforehand? Is it? Did you wipe him down with bleach? Stop it. No, it must have been a nightmare for you, all those bodily fluids. Oh, no, wait. You enjoyed it. No, this is only making things worse. I was begging to get close to you for months, Mairead. The woman that I love. Or you wouldn't even let me touch you. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry? How do you think that makes me feel to hear that? I'm not proud of it. All right, I wish we never ended up here, either of us, but we have. And then we need to fix it. Fix it? Where are you going? Out. Now, I took you back, and now you're going to walk away on me. I'm sorry, my I need to get my head. Wait! Any word? Oh, Cass. We were getting nervous. We shouldn't be fighting like this on our wedding day. Well, well, it was wrong of me to upset you. But I shouldn't have gone off the deep end so fast. You see, no marriage is perfect. But I've learned to live with Sharon's faults over the years. Hmm? The main thing is you keep talking. Yeah. Can you put up with my grumpiness and my old-fashioned ways? <laughs> I can. <laughs> I, I can even find some of them Quaint. <laughs> Star. Oh, I'm not ready. I have to change. Well, you better hurry up, though. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go ahead. You can join us later, yeah. all right? Wait till you see me in my wedding finery. <laughs> I can hardly wait. Go, go, go. I know he's your dad, but I'm sleeping with the bride to be. That's not cool. Let's judge him. That's what he needs right now. You wanna tell me how stupid I've been? How would that help? Where Aid was in bits over Damien. Things haven't been great with Jane either. This isn't gonna help. Unless that's the idea. I don't know, maybe. You should go talk to her at least. 
Thanks for the support. Jane? I'm not interested in your pathetic excuses. I'm not making any, but I'm, I'm sorry if I embarrassed you. Oh, I'm not the one who's embarrassed. A washed up old dog chasing cars? Maraid must have been out of her mind. Well, don't stay around then if I'm that bad. Oh, I've already dumped you. Fine, because I'm sick of being treated like something stuck to the bottom of your shoe. Are you still talking? We're over, okay? I suppose you think you've gotten away with it, do you? You're upset. You should go home. You just wait. What does she have on you? I'm not stupid. It doesn't matter. Because it's over now. Hey. Hey. We had a deal. As far as I'm concerned, you still owe me. Name your price. Quick confession. Deck it to the rosary. <laughs> well, I won't be looking for a relationship advice anyway. Poor Cass. I had to patch himself and Bella back together after you galloped off. I thought he just wanted to cancel the blessing. I know those kids mean the world to you. But try to notice the rest of us. Believe me, you're a hard woman to ignore. <laughs> Don't forget it. By the way, that fella you doorstepped on your leaflet round, he phoned. Yeah? Coughed up a hefty donation. <laughs> I think he was afraid. <laughs> Compliments won't get you off the hook. You still owe me. How about we make it an IOU that you can call in down the line? I'm gonna hold you to that. See? You weren't at home, I figured I'd find you here. Relax, I'm not gonna rip your hair out. I wouldn't blame you if you wanted to. <sighs> Drop the martyr act. Me and Tommy are done now, so he's all yours. I'm not after your boyfriend. <laughs> so it was just a quiet little afternoon together? Or, or was it a tiff with Damien? I'm sorry. Tommy's the one who cheated on you. Take it up with him. A lukewarm apology and I'm just dismissed? No. Okay, what do you want, Jane? Because I just ruined my own wedding day, so nothing you say or do will make it any worse. Well, that's where you're wrong. You're not the only one who's been playing around. I know about Damien. Wow. So sorry to spoil your moment. You two really are messed up. Just go. From the same family and that doesn't even bother you? What are you talking about? Dervla. The one who Damien slept with? Oh, you didn't know? No, you wouldn't. You're lying. No, no, no. I overheard them on the phone having a cosy little chat. They were glad that their one night stand didn't ruin your future. And I thought you should know that. <laughs> 